uh, then he says something that for that you can use easy test. Yes, you can use easy test. But the thing is that easy test is, is text based. So if I do it in code, I can refactor. And because, you know, Mark Miller, he's the god of code rush and refactoring and stuff like that. So I use code rush a lot. I basically, I cannot write anything without code rush. So in, if you do it like this, you can refactor anything and it will just work. Like 99% of the time, you know that computer science is not like that. So, okay, let's move to easy test. That's the, depending on which type of person you are, you will use easy test or this type of test that is integration test in code. So for that, it's really easy. When you create a self application, uh, you will have this uh, functional test folder. And in here it will come like with this sample test. The sample test just uh, open your application and helps you to log in and then it finished. So this test is, uh, I don't know how they did this. I guess they use the recorder or they wrote it. It's like quite simple. So to run this type of test, you just go here and then you just click run. And this will actually open the UI and do whatever it says in here, which is go, it will log in with as an admin and then it will finish. Basically it will just go to my details in the navigation. And if it finish, then the test is passed. So we, sh we should it, mention here that uh, when you're setting up your easy test configuration, that config.xml mm -hmm. uh, contains that application name for both, both those application names. And you have to make sure those, those match correctly. Uh, yeah, uh, actually there, um, when uh, we use easy test a lot, a uh, long time ago in a project in El Salvador, and we have all type of problems, but it was because we didn't have the experience Mm -hmm. to see like, okay, you need to, we did, I think like uh, one quest, uh, one suggestion, if I can do, uh, tell you one advice, start, do, if you're going to use easy test or if you're going to use the integration test in code as I showed before, um, do it when your development cycle is almost over or is over. Because if you try to do it when the development cycle is active, you might do a lot of refactors and these names might not match and the yeah. test will fail. So don't do it in the middle. Don't do it at the beginning. Do it when your application is almost done. I think that's the time where you need to run through all of this. Okay. So as you saw, like I just run this, like uh, right click run. So you can also record the test. So if you don't want to write this line by line, Developer Express have an amazing tool that uh, is the easy test recorder that it will record everything that you're doing in your application. For example, here I'm logging in. Almost everything. It's yeah, uh, almost, some of uh, uh, comments uh, uh, must be written. Uh, everything that is necessary, I will say, or almost everything. So here you can come here and then you can create a new record. Uh, and this will be Manuel in this case and his max grade will be like $10,000 because we trust this guy. Thank so you. we save this <laughs> and there is- And it fails. And it fails, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Manuel, I cannot give you that amount of money, but what I want to <laughs> show here is that uh, I can, what I'm doing is being recorded so I can see the script. See, like we navigate to that view, we fill the form, we put in the name Manuel in the max grade 1,000 and then we try to save and close. So, Damn it. <laughs> so this is what you will do like for, let's say you have your use cases on like on a script. So you go and do your use cases on this, you're recording them and then you run them all the time while you're doing the development. So, um, and your build thing, machine, and your build machine yeah. with your CI CD. And, and your build CD. machine with your CI CD. So here I have another test. It's basically the same that we did with Manuel right now, but I record this in the morning because I wanted to have that, that is not the one, the default one. So- Only 10,000 credits are not 1,000 yeah. credits. So <laughs> in, in, in this case, uh, basically, let's see, I did some, okay. This is what I mean. So the name of the field is active, right? So I will run this test. And by the way, guys, uh, Danny has put a few articles on the chat. Feel free to check them out about 
debugging and testing and error handling for unit tests about easy tests uh, and also the con in memory pre co uh, provider that uh, Jose was using in his test, uh, we should set it up on the setup in production test. So, okay, the test finished and we can see the output. It passes, but let's do something small. Let's break the test. So instead of active, it will be like without E in the end. So it will not find this field. It will break. So let's run this. And this is really neat. Uh, I actually love this. We used that a lot, like long time ago in El Salvador, actually. So this test will break because it will not find this field. Hands free? Yeah, hands free. <laughs> Show your hands. And okay, it failed. And if we see the output, it's even telling you that it creates a screenshot for you or on where where it fails. Actually, this screenshot is here. So we can see like you were in this screen and it was like this when it fails. Actually, the first fail that it need to be filled was this one and it didn't reach it. So, I mean, there are so many ways to test. I showed you some before that are made in code. This is easy test, depending on how you like to proceed or who will be handling your test. Because this, uh, I don't want to be mean, but uh, you don't have to use a developer for running this type of test. You can put an intern, a secretary, someone who knows about the business logic to record the test, and then you will have it and you can run it all the time. And again, there are different levels, different ways, but having some test is better to have nothing at all and believe me when you understand that this will save you hundreds of hours in the future you will do it i was against it all the time it's like uh, yeah i know that everyone is doing i know that if you want to be a big guy you need to do it like this but it's not for big companies you can do it as a solo developer i strongly suggest it and at the beginning it will be difficult because it will it's like too much code, extra code for nothing. But believe me, in the end, it will pay greatly. And with that, I stop my presentation because it's time to move to Manuel. Yeah, yeah so, we, do, Dave, we, Dave, we do need Dave, to move along. Uh, Dave, uh, Dave, Dave, didn't Dave, you have Dave. a huge calculation issue that was safe for uh, testing with easy tests or unit tests or something like that? Yeah, let me add, let me add two things here. So we did have one that um, we were calculating contracts and when we made a minor change, very minor change, uh, it ended up breaking that calculation uh, to the point where it's not big per contract, but when you multiply that by hundreds of thousands of contracts, you're talking <laughs> about big dollars per year, uh, millions of dollars per year. So that was huge. I will say with the script recorder, it is fantastic. Uh, there is a an issue when you're recording uh, inline editable grids that it doesn't seem to behave quite the way you would expect. Uh, so you do have to go in and edit that script file manually to make some minor changes. Uh, but once you get those sorted out, it's it's really, really handy. Uh, and easy test really did save us uh, in, in that scenario. So that was great. 